Hey guys, it's John Elliott. I saw that a few of you from class were having issues running Massim on Visual Studio Code. I'm pretty familiar with Visual Studio, Community, and Code, so I thought I would do a quick little less than five minute tutorial on how to get it going. This is a cross-platform solution, so um, it's designed to work for Mac, Linux, anywhere you can install Visual Studio Code, you'll be good to go. Um, just to preface, uh, it is and an extension, the same as the other one, but it is a different one. Um, it's a little more reliable. Um, you'll be able to run all of the original code um, that we could do in Visual Studio Community on Visual Studio Code uh, with no changes. Uh, you don't have to get rid of the extern lines or anything like that. Everything will be exactly the same. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open it up, Visual Studio Code. We're going to go to the Extensions tab. We're going to search for Massim Runner. So it'll be this one right here. Click Install. It'll take a second. Uh, you don't need to restart Visual Studio Code or anything like that. Um, it's very quick. It's already good to go. Next, we're going to go to the Explore right here. We're going to click Open Folder. Now, obviously, I'm using Windows, but I mean, Mac, you have files. Linux, you have files. So all of this is going to be pretty pretty straightforward. Um, you can go to any file you want. Um, so for me, I'm just going to go under my programming folder, go to Assembly, x86 Tutorial, select Folder. And that can be any one that you want on your system. Then um, you go to this sidebar right here. You click the far left icon for new file. You can name this anything you'd like. Just make sure it has the .asm extension. See, it's good to go there. Then you are going to go up to this top bar here. You're going to type a greater than sign, so that little sign right there. And you're going to click this option right here. So start Massim Runner CMD. This does take like a minute or so to, to load up. I recommend um, clicking this top tab and dragging it into uh, your window here. That'll allow you to have it and your code um, visible at the same time. It's still booting. So while it's doing that, we're going to go ahead and copy over the code um, for the assignment. So I already previously have this. Um, nothing's changed. It's exactly the same as what Wayne provided. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of that. Go back to Visual Studio, paste that in. As you can see, there's no changes. Extern is included. Um, everything is exactly the same as what it would be if you were using Visual Studio Community on Windows. All right, nice. So um, once the screen changes um, and you have your command prompt um, you're basically good to go. So we're going to drag this out uh, just to make it a little bit larger. Then we're going to go back up to this top bar. And this is basically the command to compile and run your code. So you make sure that you're on the um, tab that has your code. So you click on it. Top bar, another greater than. Compile and run code. Give it a moment to process. And then right down here at the bottom, you can see it ran a hello world exe, hello world, exclamation point, new world, exclamation point, exactly what uh, we wanted to see. And then obviously you can make changes to your code over here, um, put in any um, x86 assembly. Um, code and it'll uh, run. You just have to, again, go to the top 
and to the greater than, and then compile and run code. All right, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, best of luck in class, guys.